Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. I finally figured out there's a recast plugin. This was added in the Reaper 5.50 update. Still no official documentation about it, but I believe I have it figured out. I was streaming some, just some messing around in Reaper. I uh, went out to my browser, I could hear it, and I posted on Twitter that I was streaming and people could hear it as well. So uh, it's pretty simple, but it does take a few steps. So we're going to start off in the uh, web browser, going to shoutcast.com slash broadcast now. You get this page here, and there's some information about what Shoutcast is, and you will register for an account. And once you register and set up an account and verify your account through your email, you're going to have these two options here, Shoutcast Streaming Service or Shoutcast DNAS. So we're going to use this blue option and you're going to give your radio station a name. In my case, I've got it set as Reaper blog. You give it some tags so people can find you. If that's something you want, you need to select at least two different uh, music styles. There are a lot of options here. If you're doing podcasts, you can choose educational, comedy, write a summary, your website, put in your information. You have to create a profile and put in your information. You agree to their terms of service, you hit save, and then it will give you some information like this. It'll also email you this information. And when you're logged in, uh, this is all in your settings page. So this here gives us all the information we need to set up the plugin. The only other thing you need is the password that you chose when you set up your account. For host port, you're going to do master.shoutcast.com and then colon 8000. In the password field, this is a little different than uh, the instructions. So you need to use this tip for the legacy encoders. So follow the example, your password, colon, pound sign, and then your stream ID. So mine is 960895. In encoder settings, you can choose what sample rate, mono or stereo, and your bit rate here. This plugin also has a gain control, so you can boost or, or cut a little bit of the volume depending on what sort of source you're sending out. If it's a voice, you might want to bump it up a little bit, but always check your, your browser to see the level you're actually getting out. And the last important bit of information on this page is the radio station link. So here's my link, listen.shoutcast.com slash reaperblog. So we're going to open that up. And because I'm not streaming right now, it's not going to be found. But I'm going to go to my um, plugin preset where I've already got this set up. So it's connecting. And it's already starting to send data. I'm not sending any audio yet, but uh, in a bit, we will. So I've got this on the track. Let's go to the master. I'm actually going to mute the master so we don't hear it doubled. And we can hit play and we should start seeing um, stuff on the website. I'm hitting play, we're not gonna hear it out of my speakers. You can see it on the meter. Plugins on the track, so it's getting a signal. We're going to the uh, streaming link. Let's just refresh the page. It's been a couple seconds since we started. And we got audio out of Reaper to the internet. Anyone with a link can now listen to it. It's a pretty awesome thing, actually. I'm glad that I figured this out and I'm glad that I can share this information with you guys. So yeah, if you want to stream your podcast live or uh, maybe this would be good for doing virtual attended mix sessions, you could be mixing, send out a stream to the internet. Uh, your client can listen. There is quite a long delay, maybe six to 10 seconds, uh, but the audio is Audio quality is quite good. I'll unmute the master here. And I'll go back here. Pretty close to the same quality. This is going out to the internet, to the Showcast server, and back to my computer in the browser. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool.
And this isn't even new technology, but I, I think this is fantastic. So that's how you use the Recast plugin along with Shoutcast. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Thank you.